If you asked 100 people what sauce, what gravy would you serve with bangers and mash, I reckon 100 of them would all say onion gravy. There is no other sauce. In this pan, I've got the skin that we saved from the back fat that we smoked, and I'm going to add to that some of the reserved sausage meat. Remember we put bread and rusk in the sausage? Well, that's going to thicken the sauce. We're also going to get a wonderful gelatinous quality to the sauce from the skin. And that's going to make it nice and sticky, and for me, that's really comforting. Leave this pan on medium heat for about 10 minutes. Just stir regularly. And be careful, because the skin might spit. In the pressure cooker, I've caramelised onions with star anise. Now, what the star anise does is it reacts with the onions while browning, and it really boosts meaty flavours. Now, I want to remove half of this and save it for later. And the reason for that is that when it's finished cooking, this sauce is going to be strained. So the onions in here are going to give flavour to the sauce. These onions in here are going to add texture and reinforce the onion flavour even further. Empty the pan into a pressure cooker, which will help to create a really rich, complex sauce. Deglaze with water. I don't want to add extra flavours at this point. Make sure you scrape the bottom of the pan to capture all of the precious scraps of meat. Add enough water to cover. Bring it up to pressure and that's going to cook for one hour. We had a family barbecue, and my wife had put some potatoes wrapped in tin foil in the fire. I hadn't even thought about that, and I thought, it's so obvious. Just put them straight in the oven, whole potatoes, skin on, because you get that wonderful uh, flavour from the skin when you have a baked potato. These potatoes have been in the oven 180 degrees, depending on the size, somewhere between an hour, an hour and a half. Now, all you need to do is cut them in half and scoop out the flesh. Now, obviously, mash wouldn't be mashed without butter. I still want to keep some texture in the potato. I don't want it to be completely pureed. Be fairly generous with the pepper. Just a little bit of hot milk will keep the, the butter and potato emulsified. I've poached my bangers for 30 minutes. Poaching, as opposed to frying, cooks them at a lower temperature, which reduces the moisture loss and keeps them juicy. Before frying, just drain them on some kitchen paper, because you need to let the skins just dry a little bit. I'm going to use some ground nut oil. You have to be careful, because if the pan's too hot, the casings might burst. Now, the idea with this is to try and brown them quickly. I should be two to three minutes. Just turn them regularly. So while they're browning, I'm going to finish the sauce. I've got the liquid from the pressure cooker that I've strained and reduced by half. Then add the reserved onions. This sauce is so rich, it needs some acidity from a few drops of sherry vinegar. Finally, gently rub a couple of sage leaves between your palms to release the oils and add to the sauce to infuse. Now we're ready to serve our bangers and mash. So first, the wonderful baked potato mash. Really rich compote of onions. I'm going to cover it with more onions. Make it even richer. There we are. My perfect bangers and mash.